Hey everyone, happy, happy Wednesday of you all. So, hopefully you guys have had a great start to your week, um, great start to your days, and since we are almost to the weekend, that everything has gone your way. And if it has not, as I always say, guess what? There's always tomorrow. Always look up because there's always a better, brighter day on the horizon just for you. Always look out for it. All right, you guys. So I'm just leaving my um, neurology appointment. I'm seeing my neurologist, and I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I'm just just not feeling the best and uh, kind of emotional today. Kind of emotional. So right now I'm sitting in the van while my mom has went inside the grocery store. So she's inside of. Rouse's there she's just out of Rouse's um, it was just her and I today ever it's not that easy to take off every single time because I have way too many appointments that's just the reality of my life I'm not happy about it but that's just how my life goes I have various different appointments because I have different doctors and I have appointments different days and if you just leave in there and I'm in the van waiting for my mom she just went into the store so on I think it was Monday I uploaded the video before this one so I think that one is called I don't even <laughs> really recall right now but definitely I will link it in the I card above or put it in the description box below so today I am free well unfortunately I am free from having the IV um so yeah that's what the video is, is titled it's, it's titled using the ivs instead of the porta calf i've been having not not having issues with the port i was having issues with my skin being allergic to the tegaderm so my nurses thought i had issues with the porta calf but there's nothing to be alarmed about everything is fine and i need to have another surgery or anything so that's good news for me and i'm excited and happy about that so I keep looking around trying to see um, when my walk up so I can unlock the van for her. Surgery and thing like that. So that's great news. But the IV that I had in today, I had it, I got it in Monday. And I keep it in until I go back on a Thursday. Because my veins are just crazy. They do not work well. And I haven't had IVs in almost two and a half years. Because I've gone from having IVs to doing the pick line to doing the port. So my hands, arms have been free from that. Um, so unfortunately, I've had it in the right hand for the past few days. But unfortunately, today at the neurology appointment, it decided to come out. So my neurologist threw it away. I go tomorrow, so they probably would not do my hands. They probably have to go on my arms. But the great thing about that, I will just be able to use that for tomorrow and then back to doing the porta cat next week. So that's a good thing to be back to regular schedule as program. So I don't have to keep getting these unfortunate IVs that do not last, that do not work for me. Because my IVs, they suck. My veins, they suck. And uh, <laughs> they just don't want to work with me. They rather work against me. So it keeps me from being a human pincushion. So, all will be good for everybody involved. Um, new news to follow up is to say that there's a possibility of me getting a feeding tube. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of mixed feelings about it because my neurologist doesn't feel... I've lost weight, but it's not to the extreme where he's worried. But my GI doctor is not looking at it as a healthy thing. Also, I've been having constant runs. Um, TMI, too much information, but that's what's been going on. It really has been having me feeling more dehydrated than normal. And it's like what you call early satiety, where you're hungry and something very small I can eat, I'm full for the rest of the day. And it's a bad feeling. It is not. It's, it's, it's awful. It's, it's, it's really awful to say you're hungry and you can't really eat as you normally would. It's not a good feeling. It's, it, it really isn't. And it feels very awkward. 
So a lot of times I'm forcing myself to eat. I don't have an appetite or I'm trying to just maybe eat small foods until I am able to just digest. So I I thought I just seen my you know um in a video before this one I seen my GI doctor but I have a follow up with him um September third coming up in next month. So you guys, uh, I will come back and talk to you guys a little bit more information. I'm about to just really take in the appointment right now, and I will finish the information.